Six eight is the official thing to be a giant. Oh, so, so what's your height? Six seven. Six. Oh man, Six, just seven. off. <laughs> so does that mean like other giants they look at you weird and stuff? And yeah, because you're not you're tall not, enough. Not to, sure, yeah. yeah. So you can't go to the conventions and stuff. People assume that all tall people know each other. Oh, my mate Mick's big. Do you know Mick? <laughs> oh, I fucking know Mick. <laughs> you can see him from there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, Mick! Oh, yeah. Big Mick. <laughs> yeah, Tall big, Mick. Oh, big yeah. Mick. One of the worst things that ever happened to me, being 16, going to like a house party. It's like the first real house party. That I've, I've been to sleepovers. I've been to kids' party. This is the first adult one I've been to. And I went with this girl that I, I was madly in love with at the yeah. time. So we rock up into this place and it's like, South London, you're South London, right? Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's everyone is literally in a Ben Sherman shirt, of course. <laughs> Levi's, yeah. pair of Reebok classics. Yep. Everyone's got like a bowl haircut. Oh, a yeah, couple of people have got the French crop. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in the place is like five foot eight <gasps> and towering above Ooh. everyone. And this guy, he's a local sort of face. Yeah, yeah. He sees me walk in and he straight away is like, Who's the big guy? Who's the big fella? Who's you with? And I'm like, Hey, how you doing? All right. Ah, you're the size of you, mate. You're fucking massive. Look at the size you. And you're like, what's that voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, that's, oh, that's why you're an aggressive prick. Yeah, yeah. You're short and you talk like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You're a fucking hell, mate. Yeah. I tell you, I bet any money I could fucking man ass kick you in the head. Yeah. And I said, oh, you, you're probably good. Oh, you fucking trying? I can't. <laughs> no. You start going vexing. <laughs> like veins are coming out of places they shouldn't. And you'd think other grown ups would go, oh, he's about to kick that, that tall kid in the head. That would probably stop him. The whole part, and there was people in their forties there, uh, yeah. where I am now, and they went, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, <laughs> did he now? <laughs> did he? <laughs> and the whole place is now <laughs> gathering around. It's become a spectacle. A ring's oh. been made, and I'm standing in the middle of it going, I've not even had a beer yet. Yeah. <laughs> My first beer. <laughs> yeah, can let me have a drink? And there yeah. you go. And he's going, challenging me, challenging me. <laughs> he thinks I can't kick him in the head. I was like, number one, why would that be of an injury? Like, of, of anyone. Yeah, why yeah, would anyone yeah. be that challenge? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, everyone's now clapping. It was like we were going to do a dance. He's basically done this, this spinning kick, and he catches me on the temple, sparks me straight out. I'm out like a light. And I wake up like 40 minutes later. The girl I was with is now intertwined with the whole party, having a great time. Someone comes over with a beer and they're like, oh, you're awake, you're awake. That was so funny. And instead of turning around and being like, no, it wasn't. It was bullying yeah. on a pretty big scale from everyone here. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank you. Cheers, thanks, thanks. No one referenced the fact that I'd been knocked out and a grown man booted a kid in the head. Yeah. I, I swear this is because I was tall. If that was just a normal 16 year old little boy, he's going to go and leave it at mate. Leave go it. on, give him, give him right. Yeah, he's only a kid. He's only a kid. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a big kid. He's a little one. He's yeah. only a little one. And, and people in the party were like, mate, well, that was laugh, that was laugh, mate. That was so funny. I can't believe you said he, he wouldn't be able to kick you. And I was like, I never said that. Like, you <laughs> you know, never said like, that. Like, you know, well, you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have called it on like that. It's a weird thing of people assuming that you're something you're not. Just because of your size. Like, if I go to the pub when the rugby's on, there's like a backlash of people going, you should be out, what are you doing here, mate? You should be out there. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? And I'm like, what do you mean? You're like, fucking, you should be on the pitch, not sitting here getting pissed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm awful at sport. I can't <laughs> catch, I can't run. <laughs> you get this of people turning around and going, what a waste. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> that lovely size. <laughs> yeah. I see him a dad size sometimes. <laughs> uh, how tall how is your dad? Uh, he must be 6'4". He's always been obsessed with horse racing. So I sort of made a promise to myself, and you know, I was like, you know, when, when I have a bit of money, I'll, I'll, I'll get my racehorse, but I couldn't afford a whole racehorse because they cost a fucking fortune. Yeah, very expensive. So Christmas, I was like, I bought him a share in a racehorse. Uh, it's called Christmas Spirit. Nice. And he's like, wow, wow. Fucking hell, mate, that's amazing. Um, you know, he was moved, it was a really nice that's moment. That's cool, man. So anyway, it's running at Newmarket. I'm like anxiously sitting around that day waiting to see how the horse does. Exciting, the phone's rung, it's my dad. I answer the phone and he's like, what kind of fucking horse you brought me here? <laughs> I went, what? He went, is it a fucking practical joke you've had? Is it a joke? Tell me now. And I went, what do you mean? What's up? He said, the fucking thing's in the fucking stalls. It won't get out. It's had a breakdown. It's had a nervous breakdown in the stalls. It's, it's held up the whole racing. The whole day's racing's been ruined. Christmas spirit. I knew something was going to be wrong with this thing as soon as you brought it for me. I said, oh, gee. He said, everyone else has turned their back. I'm here now. I'm, I'm here with him now, Christmas Spirit. So that's calling him Chris. I'm here with Chris now. He's still in the stalls. I've got to pay five grand for a fucking horse whisperer. <laughs> I said, he 
all those years, I'm looking after you. You're a hindrance to me. I finally get you doing all right out of life. You buy me a horse. Now I'm paying for a horse who can't run, who's had a nervous breakdown. Because he and because he, he feels so much empathy with this horse and he loves the horse, yeah. the horse is now in a field. He's paying. So he's the only one who's still paying for it. Oh really? Well, yeah, he's still paying for his food and his upkeep. He's like, he's like, like having a kid will never grow up. <laughs> it was a, like it went from being the best Christmas gift you could ever get someone to being the worst. I, I feel like tall people should be able to be jockeys. Maybe that's the way it becomes Paralympic then, and that only if you're six, six, oh, six, wow, six and over. Then yeah. you get to ride in giant yeah. horses or like hippos. Yeah. Like giants <laughs> racing hippos. I can tell you now, I can tell you now that when you, uh, as a big man, as soon as you make your way to a horse, you can see the horse going, <laughs> you got oh, fuck off. No way. You're fucking joking, aren't you? Him on my back. You have a, you know, how far are we going? I went on a, a horse for uh, like uh, one of those trials uh, where, you, where, where you're going through, the, through yeah. America uh, on the back of a horse. And he could literally, so you know, you could just feel that he was going to get back into the stables, turn into the other horses, and I'm going, oh, that was a long walk. Long walk? Yeah, just a long walk. walk. <laughs> <laughs>